Hey guys, welcome back to another intuitive reading. We're going to jump right into the energy of the cards. Of course, if you are new to the channel, I hope you enjoy this message. So let's jump right into the energy of the cards. Holy Spirit, what is the message here for the collective energies? What are the cards here that best represent the reading? Someone is wanting to bring clarity to a situation after playing games with you. This is someone who is playing dumb to a situation, pretending not to know the truth, when in fact this energy chose convenience over their heart. This is someone who chose convenience because they didn't know what else to do. Not knowing how to maintain something with you, they stall something with you. Because now there is no further progress. Hmm. This is someone who realizes now they almost had it. They was almost there. But they were too hot and cold to give you what you needed to maintain this connection. This is someone who thought that this was too big to fail or something was going to always survive. You would always stay. This is why they played naive or played clueless to a situation and never gave you any clarity. This is someone who could be trying to get rid of a distraction. This is why things have stalled because they're, they're trying to figure something out. They're trying to get rid of a, a distraction or something that they never planned to keep because they feel like their heart belongs to you. But I feel for many of you, this energy is sitting in their comfort zone, being childlike about something, very childish, and spying, still watching you, but also focusing on their career or finances. This energy feels like you're playing hard to get when I feel you're just hit, setting some heavy boundaries after they ghosted you, avoided a serious conversation. This energy may be sitting in a space of regret. Deep space of regret for not taking action. This is someone who regrets the fact that they avoided their responsibilities. They never showed you what they were made of or never gave into the connection the way they should have. Now they feel like they're in the dark. They feel lost and they have a fear of the unknown. This is someone who is sitting in the dark when it comes to a twin flame energy there and wondering what you're doing or what you're up to, but you've set some heavy boundaries because of the lack of this because of the lack of respect. Or the fact that this energy never gave you a heart to heart conversation. They were never vulnerable. In fact, I feel this is someone who pretended like it was too difficult to choose. So you chose for them. Hmm. But I feel this is someone who still has love for you, still have love for the bond. But I feel you're too tired of the disrespect or the fact that they're always being clueless. Now you could be guarded. This could also be their energy as well. But I feel if you are guarded, you're also fed up. Now this energy is left with questions or they resent the fact that they left you with questions because now you're long, no longer seeking answers. For many of you, you've found your own closures, and for others, you're no longer seeking answers because you know this energy will only tell you lies, but this energy still has love for you. They just have a very negative way of showing it. This is someone who has a very deceptive way of showing how they care because they never really learned how to do it the right way. Yet I feel this energy could be sitting in a space of desperation because they tried to pull the strings in a bond or a connection thinking that everyone wins yet no one wins now this energy is exhausted trying to clean something up but I feel they're being pushed to a breaking point because nothing is moving everything is still stalled now they're feeling like there's too much drama too much hate on both ends <clears throat> But I feel this is a mess that they made. They're just 
finding it very hard to clean up now that you have set these boundaries for the lack of respect hmm, they're not really knowing how to get you to let your guard down but I feel this energy needs to go through a transformation for true change <clears throat> let's get some more energy here Holy Spirit what is the message here smooth talker energy here this is someone who likes to finesse and likes to talk their way out of situations possibly talking in circles going round and round hoping that you give up hoping that you give up the fight or stop asking questions thinking everyone wins this energy is never really telling the truth yet this energy is now on the outside looking in now realizing the things that they say are no longer valid now they're trying to put themselves into work because giving in to their selfish pleasures have only brought them pain. This energy resents you for putting them in the dark. Putting them in a space where they don't know what's going on. This energy feels like you've betrayed them when they have only betrayed themselves. This is someone who is keeping their options open. Thinking that they are playing a game to win. They're completely losing. This is someone who's keeping their options open. Picking and choosing what they want to show or tell others, even you. And even though I feel there are some things that should be spoken, I also feel there are some things that should stay buried. Yet, they may have already tried to rewrite history to escape accountability. Or shame because there is a lot of pain so their betrayals or lies may become more frequent because they don't want to reveal something don't want to admit something because they feel there's been no consequences or backlash they really don't see a reason to come clean yet I feel that's all about to change That's all about the change when it comes to their hot and cold ways because this energy is trying to survive now. This energy could be in survival mode and in deep regret for causing pain. Especially the fact that they were avoiding the facts or not giving the truth, just playing a game, doing anything to avoid change is also a regret. Now this energy feels they made a big sacrifice by being sneaky. This energy feels like they sacrificed too much. Gave up their true dreams or desires while chasing something that is now far gone. They feel like they sacrificed a faded connection. A place to call home something they could be rooted to instead they walked away they walked away for something that they now realize was never worth the effort i feel like this is someone who ended something now they're tired of the emotional mess because they stepped into some unexpected events unexpected events where there's arguments, fights, betrayal. There's no truth here. There's no solid foundation. There's arguments all the time. There's a clash of personalities and someone is realizing something was never worth the effort, never worth the wait. But I feel there's a long time period here where someone is now realizing something just might be too late. This energy feels like time has run out and they should have never taken the bait. This energy feels they should have never taken the bait because they can't work something out with you. Not after what they have done because they got caught. This energy feels they got caught in an illusion. An illusion built on confusion. This energy feels there's evidence against them. They got caught in the act. 
They can't take back what they did or what they said. And for many of you, it's not how they did it. Hmm. It's the fact that they continue to. Wow. There are other energies here that they tried to listen to. And they told you half truths because of it. They allowed you to let your mind take you wherever it leads. But I feel that was a dirty thing to do because they, this is the very reason they've been locked out. Because of their sneaky behaviors. But I feel now this energy is wanting to reconcile. Waiting for you to return or waiting for you to reach out. Because they know if they reach out, they're going to have to tell some hard truths that they're not wanting to give. This is someone who feels like you can't prove it. And as long as you can't prove it, they're not talking. Not confessing unless you can bring receipts. And they feel like they're fooling you. When in fact, you're just following your heart. For many of you, you're no longer listening. You're just letting your heart lead you. Because this energy is always going back and forth, never being consistent. Now there's a separation and you're doing some self-care. While this energy is still thinking about the love they have for you. This is a masculine energy or an energy that is sitting in a space of aggression because they're still longing for you. But this siren energy is letting me know that there is destructive behaviors attached to them. Yet I feel they still could be preparing. Preparing to set the record straight. But I feel for many of you, you've already put them in their place. And if you haven't already, you just might be in the mood to do that. So let's get a little bit more energy here on what's going on. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's jump right in, you guys. Hi, Spirit. What is the message here? Someone's being pushed to their breaking point. They want to make a confession. They're thinking about the memories, but they feel you've made something final. This is someone who is being pushed to their breaking point. They're trying to be solid. They're trying to hang on, but it's a mess. This is someone who is scattered mentally and emotionally because there's a lot you don't know and a lot they wish they could forget. Yet some things they can't escape because things are slowly bubbling up here, pushing them to their limit. They're overwhelmed. Things are bubbling up to the surface and I sense tempers are about to explode. I feel tempers are about to explode as they feel they can no longer live a lie. Yet, they have to commit to telling the truth. They have to confess, come clean. Be real about who they are and what they've done. Yet I feel this energy could still be sitting in a space of a non-reality, a fantasy. Still daydreaming about what could be instead of taking action and bringing clarity. As I said before, this is someone who chose convenience over heart and yet they're feeling the burn from that now. Because for many of you, you've already found your own peace or made something final. Now this energy is reminiscing and it's bittersweet they could be dwelling on the past instead of tr trying to find ways to resolve the past this is someone who knows they abandoned you and they broke the bond they feel like they can no longer confide in you and you will no longer do the same not in the same energy that you used to. This energy was too hot and cold. They told too many lies. Now something has flatlined. I feel like this is someone who was very cold when they walked away and left. They abandoned this connection and not realizing they made this sacrifice. This energy is now on the outside looking in and they're in the dark. Reminiscing and holding on to the memories because they feel it's all they got left. 
runner energy here. Someone who feels invisible to you now. But they are the runner. And you're just being intuitive about the situation. There's a lot of sorrow, grief, depression attached to the situation. And they're feeling like you're just better off without them. You found a new perspective or a new way of thinking. And you're no longer thinking of them. Yet I feel they're thinking about you. They're thinking about the fact that there is no chemistry. There's no spark. They did it, something with you, and now there's no flame. They feel like you're distracted, and they're thinking about the possibilities when it comes to the connection with you. But they know something is broken beyond repair. Now they're feeling hopeless to a second chance. Feeling like you're going to reject them when it comes to a new beginning. Now they feel there's no balance and there is no peace. This energy is feeling like there is no balance and no peace because they brought you no truth. They brought you no clarity. Now that something is bittersweet. There's a bitterness when it comes to their resentment, their anger and evil, even their hurtful words. This is someone who comes from a very hurtful space when they open their mouth because they're confused uncertain and unsure about their future this energy is afraid of the unknown and they're doing their best to hang on but it's becoming harder and harder every day this is someone who knows they need to bring you a clear apology no strings attached but i feel they're still in the heart fall confused on the truth of a reality there's mixed signals blocked emotions because they know they screwed up they just don't know how to deal with the pain. There's a lot of conflict. This energy going back and forth on a decision because they have run out of gain, choices, energy, or their lustful ways. Now realizing something they fell for is the reason they're still falling. This energy regrets the conflict they brought to family, chasing a thrill. Now they're dealing with karmic lessons because they repeated patterns. This is past life energy as well. Someone is being elusive and tricky. Whoever this is, they know they wasted a lot of time going round and round. Now they regret wasting a moment. A moment that they should have had with you instead of someone else. They gave a celebration or something else to someone else they should have gave to you. And they screwed up the foundation. They overlooked family. Now there's distance within a commitment or a close bond. Because of someone's pride or ego. Or the fact that they were always resisting the connection or suppressing their emotions. Now there is complete silence as something is frozen, yet I feel this energy is coming to a harsh realization when it comes to a beginning or the fact that they may not get a chance to try again. This is past life energy here of someone being very resentful and bitter because things are not working out yet I feel things aren't working out because this energy has failed to make a change or confess through their words or their mouth. There's no more time for playing dumb or being clueless. This energy is going to have to step up or step off. Let's get some final energy from this deck, Holy Spirit. What is the message here? What is the message here? This energy know they should have gave you loyalty. Because if they could have confessed or gave you loyalty, they could have healed this with you. But instead of healing something with a soulmate or a close bond, this energy took a risk. Took a risk on on an adventure or something that has changed their life forever or for good. Now they're in regret that something has been harshly changed or suddenly changed. Regretting the fact that they gave in to something that was forbidden. Now this energy knows 
they are living a lie. They know it. They just don't want to admit it. Because it's, it's really hard for them to show vulnerability. Trusting themselves or believing in themselves without you. It's become a hard feat. And being without you is a hard pill to swallow. So I feel this energy is also being reckless because of it. This energy wants to show you that they don't care when in fact they truly do. This is someone who is thinking about the possibilities when it comes to healing something with you or being loyal to a soulmate, but they feel like something is final and you're done for good. But I feel that this energy could just step up. Step up in an authentic way. You could give them a chance, but I feel this energy is too lost. Too lost or far gone to do that. Escaping or avoiding, blocking. This energy is trying to avoid the chemistry. They know that there's chemistry between the two of you, but this energy is just not ready for the change that's necessary. They're running, ghosting, disappearing, being invisible, and this is why there is no peace and there is no balance. This is someone who is escaping, blocking, running, pushing you away because they are empty. This is someone who has made a lot of mistakes and they don't like boundaries. They don't like that you've had enough of you drawing a line and they're not releasing something, not, not letting go of something. They're not letting go of outside interferences or attachments, peers, third parties that are bringing them pain. These are the things that are keeping them bound. These are the things that's keeping them distracted. There's a lot of pain. This energy is afraid and they're stressed. There's a lot of tension, arguments, turbulence, a lot of chaos, and they feel like their life is out of place. They're disgusted and sitting in a space of emotional turmoil. This is someone who is sitting in a space of emotional turmoil because of their consequences and they're dead. Now this energy is wanting to return, but they feel like they can't because of all the secrets, the lies that they have concealed. And now they're exhausted and drained from the journey. This is someone who wants you to open up, but they're shocked that you haven't by now. As I said before, this is someone who's waiting on you to reach out, waiting on you to make some changes because you've always have. But something is different. Something's different about you and you're not bluffing. You're not wearing a mask and you're not exaggerating. They're sitting in this space of cloudy judgment and illusion thinking that you're going to come back or beg them for your for energy. But I feel that is not the case and this is the very reason things have gone on for so long. This energy needs to give in or just give up to the fact that you have already moved on. For many of you, you are still waiting for someone to make an offer, but this energy has still failed to make these changes because they're still stuck or trapped in a false identity or a false reality where there is no death or awareness. And I feel there is no value. There's a lot of differences and clashing and this energy is still withdrawn because they're dealing with their sorrow and they're trying to deal with the pain, but it's starting to be overwhelming, starting to eat them up inside because they're still sitting in a space where they can't heal their pain. They're giving into toxic influences, third parties, trying to distract themselves. But at the end of the day, when they're sitting alone with themselves, they still feel the pain. Wanting to heal this, they're still distracted by outside influences or things that are not meant to be purposeful in their life or their journey. As I said before, this is someone who knows they're living a lie and they're tired of being fake or dealing with a copycat. But this energy is going to have to play something out. This is someone who's tired of being fake because they know with you, they didn't have to be. This is someone who knows they didn't have to pretend. Now they regret the fact that something is final. They regret the facade 
because now there's trust issues. They feel empty and they regret going back and forth with you because now they're being judged for playing games with you or trying to play you like a pawn. This is someone who knows they're going to have to be authentic with you instead of being like a light, light switch on and off. But now this energy is going through a drought. This energy is going through a drought for a being in a false reality. Push and pull. Wanting attention and creating drama. This is someone who wishes they never gave in to something. Someone wishes they never gave in to the bait. This is someone who wishes they never played into some type of facade because now they feel like a clown. Someone feels like a clown in the silly games they played because now they're feeling empty, coming up short, feeling the lack in their life now that you are moving on or have already created some type of space. Now this energy feels like they're being judged because they couldn't be authentic with you, but I feel this energy should have given all they had when they had the chance. Hmm. Now they regret rushing into something or not thinking something through because they already know after the damage they have caused that it will be more than impossible to get you to open up again. Realizing now they should have never pushed you away or crossed you because things are definitely not the same without you. Yet now that they feel they're finally getting things right they feel like your heart is no longer open to them. They regret trying to play you like a pawn because now they're Look losing that, in this dirty idea. game they tried to play. This is someone who doesn't like being judged, but they're always judging others. Blocking, judging, shaming. Realizing now something wasn't worth it and the grass is never greener on the other side, this energy regrets the fact that they pushed, to, pushed you to a place where there is boundaries, where they can't reach your heart. This energy is feeling vulnerable, having a whirlpool of emotions now that they realize they can't have your support because of their character or the lack of it. This is someone who wasn't showing their hand because they were full of games. Now they're free to do what they want. And now they want to replot their course back to you. This is someone who regrets not speaking their truth. Not speaking up when they had the chance. Because now they're in... Now they're in grief in the fact that you have... Mixed signals about them. And they're overwhelmed now that things are hot and cold with you. This is someone who is sitting in a scarcity mindset. Knowing that the clock is ticking, they know they have run out of time. Run out of time trying to manipulate a situation with you. Bringing conflict instead of love. This is someone who feels they should have never provoked you. Because now they feel like they're being stonewalled. <clears throat> this energy feels like they're being stonewalled for following fool's gold. Being dramatic when they should have understood. Placing blame when they should have fell in line. I feel this is someone who was not being accountable and something is now wearing thin. This is someone who is trying to strategize an exit plan. This is someone who is trying to strategize an exit plan after avoiding something. Avoiding something that they know now they have to be accountable for. This is someone who may need first aid after the broken heart that they're about to get because they, they're going to have to pay the toll. And I feel heartbreak, chaos, emotional stress. It's all part of it. This is someone who knows they should have never placed blame or caused drama to get attention. 
Now they're having to be accountable for the broken hearts. Something is <clears throat> something is wearing thin. And this energy is uncertain and filled with a, a tidal wave of emotions. This is someone who knows that they sabotage something by being too comfortable. Now there's too much chaos and they're under pressure to give an apology, but there's still too many excuses. This energy is under pressure emotionally. Wanting to amend, they know they need to come clean and express an authentic apology instead of strategizing. Yet this energy is still distracted. They're still distracted by their shame and their pain. This is someone who is distracted by the vault of secrets that they know they still have. And there is still something that is keeping them trapped, attached. And whatever it is, it should be old news. As I said before, they regret following this fool's gold. And they're wanting to speak out, go into a better place. Because trust me, where they're at is very different from where... They used to be. But I feel this is someone who needs to make a choice. Stop stonewalling and provoking and procrastinating and causing conflict because time is running out and they need to confront what they've been running from. No more games. No more lies. They need to see something for what it is. And if they decide to do something on their own, that would be their best bet. Because if karma has their way with them, they just might not survive. As I said before, this is someone who wants you to be open to what they have going on. But I, as I said before, they have to pay the toll. They have to go through this to get through it. There is no exit. There will be no exit through their strategy. They're going to have to be authentic about the changes that they make and create in their own life. Because this is real. Let's get some more energy here, Holy Spirit. What is the message here for the collective? We have Eight of Wands energy here for a Swords, Eight of Pentacles. We also have the Page of Swords, so someone is definitely wanting to start anew. There's passionate energy here, but this energy is still stalling because they're feeling trapped, Eight of Swords. But I feel they're feeling trapped because of their own secrets, their own lies. This is self-imposed energy here because this energy is going through justice for these Tower moments. It's they're trying to find the strength they're trying to pull through but it's all through intention as this energy is sitting in hermit mode in solitude trying to do the inner work they could be trying to cut corners or trying to get through this in an easy way but there's no easy way out of this there's no easy way of coming out of this empty space hmm. and for many of you this energy is being judged harshly as the Most High is assessing their past actions. There will be a price to pay. And as I said before, they should be ready to pay the toll. Justice will come through for this energy. And I feel it will be harsh and brutal. King of Wands energy here. Someone walked away. As I said before, devil energy here, they did it in a very low vibrational way. But I feel whatever the results are, are self-imposed. Now they're trying to lighten their burden here with the Ten of Wands. Someone is trying to lighten their burden, wanting the feelings that they have for you to be mutual. And they want the worst to be over when it comes to a heartbreak or... This excruci excruciating pain. Hmm. They regret having something being unspoken, but they also know they are fool. This is someone who is now trying to bury the past 
knowing that now that you you're doing something for self you're doing what's best for you you're wanting to put the past in the past and bury it if you have to high priestess energy here mystery and intention wow judgment moon card someone's wanting to make an offer but they don't have a lot to give you're coming out as the Queen of Pentacles as well as the High Priestess. Someone is definitely realizing you're holding their feet to the fire. You're not letting them get away with something, especially when it comes to their ability to always tell a lie and always tell secrets or keep secrets, if you will. Now there's intrusive energies or thoughts that they can't let go or get through. But as I said before, they're trying. They're trying. But they're still feeling like they're left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. They're trying to manifest. But I feel you're taking a stand here with the Empress energy. Unconditional love for some of you. You could be... Um, they feel like you're punishing them. But I feel for many of you, there's no punishment. It's just that they're feeling the effects of the fact that their well has run dry. Now they're wanting your empathy, your temperance, after not speaking their truth. But as I said before, you're doing what's best for you instead of trying to cut through the fog of their lies. Because you already know it. You're dealing with the fool. Someone who is only trying to lighten their emotional load. Yet I feel this energy is going to have to play this through and through. Let's get some final energy here from this deck, Holy Spirit. What is the message? Final message is here. Confirmation, please, Spirit. Thank you. So someone's trying to be logical about something. They're trying to be mindful of what they say. They really want to come back into your life, but you're being mysterious about something. Someone is thinking that you're too lost in the past or you're set in your ways when it comes to your choices. Hmm. But I feel the world has been turned upside down without you. There's no success. And they're just repeating cycles, repeating them every day. If this energy is tired, wore out, just as wore out as you are, but there's still no change, even though the, they think they're thinking logically, they still need to give in to the roots of their values. See something for what it is and clearly. <clears throat> Stop playing others for a pawn and playing a facade because they know they're empty. <clears throat> Queen of Wands energy here. Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups. And we also have a Fortress. So someone feels like your walls are up. Hmm. You're not giving in the way that you used to because you have options. Either that or the fact that you know your worth. You know your worth within a situation and you're not even really wanting the communication. I feel that's also affecting them, that you're no longer wanting to resolve something, or you're putting in very little effort. <clears throat> hmm. Wow. So there's a tower moment here. Someone feels like you have your walls up and it's destroying something when it comes to this connection because they can't make something clear to you or they can't penetrate something they feel like you're on the fence emotionally when it comes to them and for others they just feel like they just missed an opportunity because you're never coming back because of their lies their deception they feel like you'll never see them the same but I feel this energy is trying their best to keep an open mind 
hoping that you'll still be compassionate here with the Queen of Cups. This energy is wanting to communicate because they're thinking about the possibilities, thinking they have nothing to lose. This energy is wanting a fresh start. This energy is wanting a fresh start financially, mentally, spiritually here with the Ace of Pentacles, but they feel like you've already let go. Nine of Wands. You've already let go and put them in the past. Wishing they sh could change what they've done. They feel like it's set in stone. They feel like they can't change your heart when it comes to what they've done. Page of Cups, they want to communicate their emotions, but something, they feel like they can't communicate it. Their emotions are everywhere. They feel like it just won't come out the way that it should. They're restless. Page of Wands, they have no good news. They feel like time's running out when it comes to emotional fulfillment. And they're longing for strength to get through this war, to get through this fire, to get through this dark zone in their life. This is someone who knows. They know they hurt you. Because they feel it too. They just don't see a clear path to make it right with you. They don't see a path to come back to you or even the words to try to make it better. Because deep down, they know it would be anything. It wouldn't be anything you hadn't already heard. They're just simply all over the place. And they're out of ideas because they know, they know they're all out of these second chances that you're always willing to give. Thinking now you hate them. This energy now feels they can't communicate the way they need to or effectively to change your heart. Yet I feel this was the hardest thing you could ever have tried to get through or overcome. They just feel like it was easy for you to let go, and it wasn't. But I sense the moment you realize the best thing you could do is let go and let God, there was nothing else to prove. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading and has gained some food for thought. If so, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. I hope to see you again, guys. Bye.